Hey guys, it's Mr. Adkins. I'm coming to you from my shop, work from home today. Um, I really hope that you're, you're staying safe and that you and your family are doing well, that you're taking care of each other. Um, I wanted to make a quick video just to welcome you to our new normal, to welcome you to our new nine weeks. We're gonna have to make a few changes and show our flexibility and be creative. Uh, fortunately, art people are good at that. So just strap in and we're gonna go for a ride. Oh, we, um, we have gotten really good at using Google Classroom and using our technology. We had a whole nine weeks on how to use technology in the art room. So I feel like it's going to be a very smooth transition for us from, from what we were doing to what we will be doing. Um, I know that there are gonna be some difficulties. I know there are gonna be some tough spots. And I'd really like to invite you and encourage you to communicate with me and to let me know anytime that there are, are things that are not going well, struggles that you're having, uh, any considerations that I need to make. Um, I'm not here to beat you up with art projects. I'm actually here to, uh, to provide you an outlet, to provide you some stress relief with your, with your art projects that we're going into. Um, so to that end, we're gonna be using a lot of our our iPads, a lot of our MacBooks, a lot of our internet. Uh, we're gonna be turning in things through Google Classroom and all of this is, is stuff that you've done before, so I don't anticipate many problems. Um, what we're gonna be doing, I'm checking off my list here as usual, um, we're gonna spend a few weeks making art tutorials for each other and for others. Uh, if you go on YouTube, if you go online, you're going to see a lot of, of other people that have made art tutorials and this is how you can make this project, but they're not ours. They're not by chargers for chargers. And that's what we're going to be doing for the first couple of weeks of this new, new session is making tutorial videos by chargers for chargers. Let's, um, let's make one this first week. I'm going to give you another video later on, kind of a, a tutorial on how to make a tutorial, if you will. And we're going to do our very best this first week to put together our art tutorials for our peers, for our classmates, and even for some, maybe some younger people that are staying at home with their parents. After we've had a chance to put together our first tutorial, I'm going to take the weekend and look at them and and maybe offer some suggestions or offer some praise, and then we'll do a second one. Um, by the time all of our art students have made two art tutorial videos, we should have a pretty healthy database, a library of art tutorials that we can use on Google Classroom for each other, that we can use um, on our art Facebook page for the community. Um, and honestly, I'm expecting things to evolve. I'm, I'm trying to maintain my own flexibility because I, I anticipate some changes once we get into things. But for the time being, you can expect to do an, an art tutorial this week based on the instructions that I'll give in the next video and an art tutorial next week based on any feedback that I give you to this first one that you make. And then we're going to open up your options a lot wider. It's going to be... Um, it's gonna be a fun nine weeks for you. You're gonna have some things to choose from that will really be interesting, that will really be satisfying, and you'll have some options to help some other people. I think you're gonna enjoy it. Um, what I have done is I've shifted our focus. We, we were going to focus on some of the how to do art, how to mix color, how to use the color theory. We had our whole nine weeks lined up on how to do some of these art things. And we're changing it to the why. Um, why to do art? Why are we spending time to do this? Why are we taking time out of our stressful situations to make artwork? Um, is it to help ourselves to relieve our own stress? Is it to provide other people with outlets to release their own emotional energies? Is it, is it something to help parents that have little kids that need some art projects to do at home? Um, these are all questions that we're going to answer, and they're all part of the why. Um, sometimes how to do art is, is what you need to do in an art class, and sometimes why to do art is what you need to do in an art class. So you can expect that to be our focus for the next um, several weeks. I'm here. 
I'm working every day. If you need me, feel free to shoot me an email to contact me on email or Google Classroom. Um, I anticipate having plenty of time to, to stay in communication with everybody. So don't feel like you're out there all alone. We're here, we're here for you. If you're having any trouble contacting people through the school or getting anything done through the school, I'm happy to be a liaison, I'm happy to be somebody that you can get stuff done through. So uh, yeah, look out for a, another video from me later on and uh, keep your eye on Google Classroom, keep your eye on your emails and let me know what's going on in your life. Be creative, be safe, and for the love, wash your hands.